Do you see this cool effect? It's called horizontal scroll. And I created this stunning design without any plugin. My name is Shekhar. Welcome to our channel and let's get started. First, let's add a container. Change the content width to full width and set the minimum height to 100 VH. Next, we'll add another container where we'll place our elements and apply the same changes to it. Now I'll go ahead and select the navigator, then name this container slide one. So it's easy to spot and design. Let's head over to settings and switch the page layout to element or canvas. This gives us the whole page to design without the header and footer getting in the way. All right, we'll start customizing the page by selecting the main container. Go to the style tab and add a background image. Then select slide one, go to style and set the background image there too. Here I'll adjust the image by setting the position like this, change attachment to fix, making it no repeat and finally setting the display size to cover. Next, let's add our elements. Drag and drop the heading from the widget section like this. Now I'll add some padding so it's not right up against the heading. Now I'll change the text color using the color picker to something that contrasts nicely with the background image. Okay, this looks good. I'll keep it. To customize the text further, click on typography, pick up font family. For now I'll pick this one and tweak other settings if needed. Now let's add some text. This is where you can include a description or some bullet points to showcase your products. Again, add some padding so it aligns well with the heading. I'll do that quickly. Awesome. To style the text, I'll go back to style and play with the color. From typography, I'll choose this and change other settings like we did earlier. All right, let's add a button below the text and give it some padding too. I'll go to widget, drag a button like this, go to style or advanced and change the padding from here. I'll go to style tab, change its color from here and yeah. This looks good to me. Awesome, our first slide is now ready. Next up, let's add the horizontal scrolling effect. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading, and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore, just Airlift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. First, select the main container, go to advanced, and add the CSS class as container, then, Select slide one, go to advanced and in the CSS class as panel. We need three slides. So let's duplicate this one by one like this. And from here, I'll rename them like this. Now select the main container and set it to no wrap to keep items on a single line. So go to additional options, then change the HTML tag to main. This is an important step because without this, you cannot run the code. Awesome. Now it's time to add our code. Let's go to the navigator. Select the container and go to settings. Then in advanced, add your CSS code, which I'll paste in the description below. For the final step, we have to add an HTML widget. Let's search for HTML and drag the widget into the container. Then I'm going to find the HTML element in the navigation bar and drag it to the end of the container. Now let's add the custom HTML code. Again, I'll paste the same code in the description below. I'll go ahead and finish the next two slide so that we can see the scroll effect. All right, I think I'm done. So let's take a final look at the page. Okay, the horizontal scroll is working fine. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.